Hey, nerds, geeks, and collectors alike, and we are having our very first toy hunt in the channel. And starting off with the Marvel section, here we have Homecoming, and then the bendable figures, and some land bags, and here we have the Titan Hero series, the Black Widow uh, Titan Hero series, and the Taskmaster looks gnarly. That's very cool. And again, basic figures and some more Titan Hero series. As you can see up there, uh, no Marvel Legends in sight. But we do have uh, ooh, something new here. We have the Domez X Men. I think you can get characters at random here. Uh, pretty cool. And something really caught my eye here. Let's see this Venom Burst. Is this the figures that you get with slime? I think we have Iron Man, we have Venom, ooh Captain America. I think these are Venomized Marvel characters. And this one is probably Groot from the surface of the head alone. And moving on to the Transformers, but before we do that, let's actually take a look at the Gundam section. And they have a pretty good selection. I just wish that the Transformer section as well as the Marvel section were as good as this. And we have Megatron, Starscream, Grimlock, Bumblebee, and Optimus from... I don't know what wave or toy line this is. And we have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Power of the Primes. And then moving on to Cyberverse. Studio series, we have Crowbar. Again, crowbar at the bottom. Wow, this is actually the first time I've ever seen a Studio Series figure at this mall. Or at this store, I'm sorry. And take a look at the Gundam section again. I really wish that the selection of the Gundam is as good as the Marvel and uh, Transformers section. And unfortunately, they don't even have a Star Wars section here. So that's about it. So you get the idea of how hard it is to get good figures. So they actually have a separate, uh, let me say table and display here. They actually have Studio Series number 33, Bone Crusher. These guys just appeared out of nowhere. And as you can see here, if I can focus my camera, these guys used to be uh, 799.75 and it became 900 or that's about 36 dollars turned 18 dollars and ooh, this one's actually 50 percent off but fortunately i'm not gonna pick it up because it's not something that i've been wanting or been eyeing or something that i really need in my collection not to mention i don't have enough space but it's actually pretty cool to see these all oh, the reason i'm not gonna pick this up is because i already have mine and I picked it up for 800 pesos, Philippine pesos, which translates to about uh, $16. And here we have some Zoids. I actually had some Zoids back in the day. Uh, before I knew that there's more to figures than just bashing them into each other. And my mall's actually having a sale. This is actually at the center of the mall. And here we have some Marvel Legends. Here we have the Six-Armed Spider-Man, Wasp and gargoyle and again just the same characters and not even good ones these guys are actually peg warmers here in the philippines no one's actually picked up these figures again here we have the uh 50 percent off pretty cool i get these but i don't have enough space nor do i have the other figures that is in scale with them and here we have a selection here we have a pretty cool bumblebee mask and we actually have star wars here which i'm surprised again the ig88 from 30 dollars it became 10 dollars 20 percent off as you can see the box is oh gosh the box is beaten up but the figure is good uh, sealed you can see, pretty cool. I might get them simply because I'm, I want to open them. Uh, I do have the Boba Fett. Uh, I just ordered the uh, 40th anniversary uh, Empire Strikes Back. Tech Resistant Crows, Maz Kanata, Gene Erso, and all of that. 
Arjas Mazganadas and Jin Ursos. That's about it. And moving here, we actually have a decent selection. We have some lightsabers. And yes, this is a decent collection. See, at the back of that stand, there's nothing much there. And we have more Marvel Legends and Black Series. Again, Jin Ursos and uh, Andor. We have some Mighty Mugs. Yes, I do have some Mighty Mugs. I think I have about... I think I have 12 of them. Uh, but they, they don't have anything that I think that I'll be getting. Even by impulse, I don't see anything that I want to get except for the archive series. These are all clearance, by the way. And nothing much here. We have this for, I don't know, $4. And we have these for $2. TIE Fighter. Uh, nothing much here. We have lightsabers right here. I did think of getting lightsabers, but it's gonna save it to actually have the good ones. These are just for kids. They don't light up or anything, they're just the ones that extend. And at the back, we have Marvel basic figures uh, Avengers Endgame Quantum Realm Hulk, which I actually do have. And yeah, that's about it for this selection. Let's just take and see if we can actually find something worth getting. Mm, nothing much, nothing much here. Again, just browsing, just in case somebody actually uh, hid something. I actually found the Padawan Obi Wan here. Uh, if you've been keeping up with my social media account, primarily my Twitter and Instagram accounts. Uh, if you haven't, uh, links at the description. Here we have the Bumblebee basic figures. And we have Barricade. We have the Titan Hero series once more. And this actually caught my eye, the Marvel Legends uh, Iron Gauntlet. Or the Nano Gauntlet, excuse me. Uh, pretty cool. But unfortunately, I do not have space for this thing. Ooh, they actually have Voss. I think a guy picked this up and just returned it. Let's consider getting it. You know, I do have the Boba Fett, uh, the 40th anniversary. So I might pick this two up because I do plan on opening that Boba Fett figure because I have the Mandalorian pre-order. But the box is heating up. But then again, I am going to open these guys. So I guess I am going to pick these two up for nine dollars. They aren't bad. Now we have the Voss and IG-88 and I guess we're gonna open them here and just take a look at the packaging first. Obviously it's been enough but with IG-88 the plastic or the clamshell of the figure is actually in good condition. It's the cardboard that's really bidding up for IG-88. I've been eyeing these two figures for quite some time. There used to be another Voss there, but I didn't pick that up. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, these guys aren't actually on my list. They just caught my eye and I thought, hey, that's uh, actually a pretty good figure. At a decent price, uh, despite the box, so I just am gonna open them. So, taking a look here, pretty cool. And the box is really beaten up. The cardboard box is for IG-88 here. As you can see, let's take a closer look. As you can see, there are wears and tears. While the clamshell, the plastic of the packaging is in good condition. You know, almost in perfect condition. And as you can see, this is really the main issue here. And at the back, this is what they have and nothing much more as you can see i might as well just rip this brutally and my heart wouldn't even skip a beat actually and that's about it while bosk here goodness uh, it's actually in pretty good condition compared to this because the clamshell the plastic itself is bent 
as if somebody sat on it. As you can see, that it's supposed to have this curve here for the archive packaging, but this guy, nope. I guess some kid uh, sat on him. We have an image of Bosk and IG88. I almost forgot to mention that because I'm too distracted with the, the damages that these figures have. And here's the Boba Fett uh, figure that I got. And it even has a stamp here. The 40th anniversary for the Empire Strikes Back. I do plan on opening this figure. So, But I am going to be careful with opening this uh, particular figure. You can see here I might just use a box cutter right here. I don't want to destroy the cardboard of this one. Of the Boba Fett figure. Because it's going to be a waste. It would be unfortunate if I did. But I do want to open it. And I don't have the luxury of buying another one. Simply to have one opened and one to display. And one of the reasons why I've been inactive in this channel. I've been meaning to address this. And I think this is the perfect opportunity while I'm getting my ruler and my miss. Uh, or the uh, vaporizer. Whatever you want to call it. Because the reason is I've been busy with school. Uh, there's actually no time for me to review figures and let's just open this up and and here we have slowly it's just tape because when I got this guy it was already open and then the store just did some, some tape there and let's just open the mess right here can never be too safe. As you can see here from the inside. So these. And there we go from the inside. Should bang back. Can never be too safe in, in these times. Especially in these times during the pandemic. And just from the outside, and let's actually get off of it and yes, slowly, surely take him out. There we go. And here we have Voss again. The miss, miss the figure here just to be safe. No better to be safe than sorry. This is actually safe for your figures because it does not uh, harm the paint or the figure itself. It distributes a fair amount of rubbing alcohol and at the back, here we have, and that's about it for Voss. He's pretty good sanitized. Now putting him aside, let's get to IG-11. I mean IG-88. I've been watching the Mandalorian. Uh, quite some time. His back mean it's actually better. And again, box cutter here. And it's actually harder to get. And let's try it the other side. Here. It's actually sealed pretty well, this one. And that's that, actually. Let's yes. Put some cuts here. To help, there we go. And again, just open the figure, just cut it there. Okay, and we have a shot, just put this. Slowly again before we do miss. There we go. Never to be too safe as if there's fog in there. The packaging. Pretty cool. And at the back, the clamshell. Even though it's sealed, I do this just to be safe. Just turn it off. And the figure itself. Before we turn this thing off, call it a day. There we go. 
Never to be too safe. Better to be safe than sorry. Now, time shell, let's just. Here we have the package, let's just put these aside. And here we have IG88 and Vosk. Really cool figures. I guess I'll make a quick review out of them. Till next time, see ya!